I mean more. You ain't got no more? You only got two? I mean, but I mean, but what's wrong with defending yourself? That's not a problem. All right. Uh -huh. But I'm just piggybacking off of what you just said uh -huh. about if you walk up, walking up and they eye each other and you might feel intimidated or whatever. Uh -huh. I could walk up here and see you guys, which be, uh, which I wouldn't know. I mean, I know, but I'm just saying, and I wouldn't know and could be intimidated by the brother that has the guns. Right. And that's, and, and that's, and that's okay to be intimidated just because you see the guns because you don't know what's going to happen. But just know, you see what's going on. We have right. Bibles. We don't want to. No, 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 no. Bible. I understand. Right. I got you. And I want to hear you teach. Right. What I'm saying to you is, like uh -huh. I said, I was just piggybacking off of you. Like uh -huh. you just said, that analogy you just say gave about uh -huh. um, going to the corner store. Right, right, right. About okay. how wicked them was, about how we look at each other in evil ways. Right. Okay. I don't look at you evil. You don't look at me as evil. Right. Then there's the problem. So, so, All right. Like, so, so, so the point of him bringing that out was that our people look at each other with evil eyes. Right. You came up here. You saw I'm I'm armed, right? I didn't look at you with an evil eye, did I? I don't know. He didn't. I didn't. Right? But I don't know. No, but, but I didn't. Well, well, but that's the thing. So like but, but that's, that's the point. thing. Can I help you out? What, what he's trying is. to say is that somebody who come up and see that first, another brother, right? That may he's not looking to see what y'all teaching guns on. He said, oh. All right, God. it might be violence. Right, that's what he's trying to say. Right, that's what he's trying to say. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I hear, but, but here's the problem. Right? Here's the problem with that. Right, regardless of if I have this or not, people are intimidated because you have a group of black men right. standing right. up yeah, for something. Right? right. So before we even came out here, we had arms on, right, right, right to protect right. ourselves because we do live in a, a yeah. so-called city of brotherly love where brothers have no love because of this curse right, right. and they're killing each other, right? And, and, and people have threatened our lives right. on various occasions, right, right? right? That's the point. We're out here to teach our people love and show them, hey, we got to stop looking at each other with ill will, with, right. with, with evil eyes. We have to look at each other as the princes, all right, and kings that God made us to be. Teacher, right. Right? right? You see? Right. Go to Song of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 6. I want to make a point for you real fast, right? Because I understand what you're saying, right? And, and what you're saying, it makes sense, right? But we're going to see what the Bible says about this, right? Because we conduct ourselves, right? We operate according to thus saith the Lord in all cases, right? So we're going to see if there's a problem with us having armor or anything like that on in the Bible, right? Go ahead, Song of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 6. But you, you understand what I was saying? Yeah, I do understand what you're saying, exactly. Cause like I said, I was just using, I was just piggybacking off of what he was saying. Mm -hmm. I understand, I got you. And I, like I said, I, I want to see you brothers teach. All right? Absolutely, so I got one for you, three and six. God, this is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter three, verse six. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness like pillars of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, mm -hmm. with all powders of the merchant, verse seven. Right, so. We had the frankincense and the myrrh lit a little while ago. It cut off, right? Go ahead. Verse 7, behold his bed, which is Solomon. Three score valiant men are about it. Right, valiant, right, or brave men, right? Go ahead. Of the valiant of Israel. Right, of the brave of Israel, which we are brave Israelites, right? Go ahead. Verse 8, they all hold swords. It said they all do what? They all hold, hold swords. swords. Right, they all hold swords. Get first Maccabees 14 and 9. Go ahead. Being expert in war. Right, being what? Being experts in war. They all hold swords, being experts in war. And why do they hold swords? Every man has a sword upon his thigh because of fear in the night. Right, to protect ourselves against an attack if somebody was to try to come and do something to us, right? That's why we have uh, armor and that's why we have guns and knives, right? Hidden weapons that you don't see, but you better believe that we do have, right? This is why we have them, is to protect ourselves right and there's nothing wrong with that right we could see solomon's valiant men this is what they did right we could see another example with the maccabees right go ahead this is the book of first maccabees chapter 14 and verse 9. bring it out the ancient men sat all in the streets uh -huh, right the elderly men right the older brothers right like my og right here right you this brother right here right the elder over here right it said the elders sat in the street right and did what communing together of all of, of good things of good things right they was talking about good things the elderly men right and the young men did what and the young men 
put on glorious and warlike apparel, right? And the young men put on glorious and warlike apparel, right? A uh, uh, suit for war, right? The young men got themselves prepared for war. All right, so again, uh, one, one, we had it again. You know what I'm saying? Out here waking up for people. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do it. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 10. And it pleased the Lord to bruise him. We're going to come he out here and put him to grief. But thou shalt make his soul business. an offering for sin. To the most he high shall see his door. seed. He shall prolong Shalom. his days. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rachakudash, the bonus of the Apostles, and others that great most on who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you. Hopefully, we like that to push not this word of thought, truth, and sincerity to all you Aki, Messiah Shalom. I am the Akira. I am from the servants of, from the servants of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai camp, coming in with the rebuke video. On these clowns that you saw in the video, man. All right, as you saw in the clip play, you have that one dude with his head covered, you know, teaching, which that's off right there. All right, that's in the book of First Corinthians, if I'm mistaken, which probably even basically mentioned the fact that, you know, it was by nature that that you know, man is not supposed to, you know, prophesy with his head covered. All right, but you 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 have them clowns right there defending themselves from the from the you know you know the Jake out there. Talking about why they have guns. And they were really trying to prove a point using scriptures out of context. All right, bringing out wisdom of Solomon and First Maccabees, which, you know, that's the thing to do with us going to camp. You know, we're not supposed to hold guns at camp. All right, that's a carnal mindset. All right? You know, and the Lord ain't dealing with that. As a matter of fact, I got it out right now in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, which the point is at verse seven, but I'm going to start at verse five. It reads, For they that are after the flesh, and, you know, those clowns are after the flesh. As a matter of fact, their name goes back to the, uh, uh, you know, basically their, their name means daggerman. You know, as a matter of fact, back in the ancient world, they disregarded Yahweh Shai. You know, just like right now, as a matter of fact, those same spirits, that, that they, they, they're back at it again in that same camp. All right, because, all it, because what they teach, teach is that Yahweh Shai is not to be worshipped. All right, just like back in the ancient world, they disproved the Yahweh Shai. So, you know, these things add up, man. But going on, it says, for they that are after the flesh, and these guys are carnal as fuck, man. You know, talking about, you know, basically, it's been going on for about a year now, if I'm not mistaken. Well, we, we are, you know, starting off with Deacon Akal talking about, you know, we, we, we have sticks at camp and whatnot. Now you guys are holding M16s, which the other Apostle Gabar, you know, did a listen on that. All right, yeah, Jake out there with them damn shirts, you know, saying Sakari, and, and what he was doing was holding M16s. All right, the hell? And as he saw in the clip, yeah, 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 that one, yeah, that one clown, you know, already, you know, uh, um, uh, suited up with that with that vest and the gun mounted onto it and what what, what he had in the logo in, in the middle was a was a sicari logo all right that's wicked as fuck man all right excuse my french but that's off man all right so going on since we're there after the flesh do mind of things of the flesh all right so these guys are they're, they're, they're carnal man but they are after the spirit the things of the spirit they, these guys are spiritual all right and now we understand there be certain you know men in that camp that I don't want to tell they repent, you know, as soon as possible because we understand that that uh, um they'll be acting dispersed amongst the cabs, and, and and we understand that that it'll be a point where the Lord's gonna have them repent and turn, you know, basically come to the realization that their camp is off, you know. But majority of those clowns, major majority of them, Sakari Israelites, you know, Hebrew Israelites, you know, they're off, man. They're wicked. All right, they ain't spiritual. Verse six: For to be carnally minded. Which carnality basically is pertaining to the flesh. All right, and definition it means relating to physical, especially sexual needs and activities. All right, that need being uh, you know holding a gun for self defense. All right, yeah, that clown say you know what's wrong with self defense? You know, acting like a black panther. All right, you know you, them guys at IUC, ISUPK, you, yeah, yeah, a while back, where, where they were literally had camp with, with, with black panther, man. Likewise, you know these Sakari guys, these Sakari Hebrews are like clowns. You know, they're, 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 they're acting like the Black Panther. Uh, you know, like, like the other Apostle Gabar mentioned, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a pseudo military, which that word pseudo means fake. You know, so they're basically a fake militia, you know, uh, uh, of citizens, you know, holding guns and weapons and when all suited up, you know, basically armored up. Well, wasn't the gun Esau's blessing? Which I'm going to bring a precept out of that, precept of that as well. But going on, it says for to be carnally minded is death. All right. Yeah, you guys are basically, you know, uh, following a path unto death. 
but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And, and, and the elect men that are promised everlasting salvation shall, shall, shall be, uh, at least likely they are spiritually minded. Going on, because the carnal mind is enmity, which that word enmity, you know, if you look it up, it says hostility, all right? The state of, you know, basically opposing someone or something. So, because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh. So, these guys basically, you know, against Yahweh by Shemil All right? As a matter of fact, they have been against them, you know, for Salakia. Yeah, excuse me about that. I had a burp right there. But they've been they've been against Yahweh by Shemil Shai for a long time now. All right? Talking about, you know, you guys don't care about what Mark said. You know, that's what Deacon Acosta said. And talking about, get some scholarship about yourself. All right? That guy is prideful. All right, let's see the Lord's gonna destroy those clowns like those that are prideful, you know, basically prideful on um, um, wicked false prophets, man. All right, so enmity against Yahweh, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. All right, talking about, talking about you know, uh, self defense with weapons at camp. Well, didn't Yahweh should I even say, uh, be harmless as doves? Which I'm gonna get that out, and that was in the book of Luke, if I'm not mistaken. Harmless as doves. All right, it reads in the book of Matthew, the 10th chapter, verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. All right, we're supposed to revolve on the logical, you know, to, by, the, by the scriptures. You know, not, not supposed to be relying on the car, car, carnality of, the, of this world, man. All right, the fashions of this world as holding an M16. All right, holding blickies. You, you, yeah, yeah, some clown, you know, I can be posting clips here and there about, you know, basically Sakar and doing the, the, the mishaps. And yeah, one of them clowns out there, you know, freaking threatening, threatening Edomite who was scoffing, you know, with the damn handgun. All right, that's wicked, man. All right, the scriptures even say, be therefore white as serpents and harmless as doves. And not only then, the book of Matthew, the 25th chapter, if I'm mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, one of those chapters, it goes in a agree with thine adversary. All right, thine adversary being Esau Edom. All right, that's why he's known as a damn devil because that word devil means adversary. You know, so basically going toe to toe against him in his own cap in his own, in his own empire is off. All right, this ain't your rest, man. You know, trying to put hands on an Edomite. All right, I ra I rather see I rather see a a, a, a brother hold hold the door open for an Edomite because it's through his captivity. All right, then then, then to see some clown. All right, making Edomite bow down, man. All right, you know, uploading it to YouTube with the with the all caps saying. Hebrew Israelites uh, humbled down eating my no man, that's ridiculous. All right, see the Lord's gonna destroy clowns like you, man. All right, so I'm, this is the book of Genesis, the twenty seventh chapter, verse thirty nine. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling, and that was basically going into the the, the, the blessings the blessings of Esau Edom. All right, the twenty seventh chapter goes into the blessings of uh, uh, of Jacob our forefather and Esau Edom. So it goes on to say, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Basically going to the whole the whole earth. Because right now, you know, America being the chief of nations, you know, they, they basically have a hedge over all nations, man. All right, that was in the book of Revelation, the 17th and 18th chapter. And where all these nations partake of the Babylon Jews as well. You know, they uphold the, the ideas of Americanization. And also Esau Edom basically inhabits every single location, man. You know, from Japan on down to the west coast of America, man. They're everywhere. So behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. And of the dew of heaven from above. But the point is right here. And by thy sword, which that sword, that modern day sword is a gun. All right. And it's common sense because the scriptures deal with ancient terminology. The Lord's not going to have it to us. He's going to basically tell his prophets from old, which, you know, Lord will those same men reincarnated, you know, on the scene again. But he, the Lord never Lord never had it where, where, where he told his prophets that this shall be an English language, that there shall be language known as English. And the, the, the modern day sword of the... The, the, the word sword in the English language will be a gun, you know, a missile. You know, he, the Lord never said anything about that. Why? Because you have to have a spirit to actually understand these things. It's called discernment for a reason. And by thy sword shalt thou live. All right, by 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 the sword shall Esau live. And that's that's why uh, America has been heavily no, has been heavily known as a patriotic country where where, where where they basically rely on guns. You know. So and shall serve thy brother, which that happened uh, back back in the ancient world when King David was on the scene, and, and basically he subjected them by way of putting garrisons throughout Edom, and that was in the book of First Kings, the fourteenth chapter. If I'm mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, which basically they broke away uh, after King Solomon. You know, and but but basically they they basically gonna come back to 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 servitude, uh, you know, under us again. All right, it's so like a slavery, hardcore slavery. They're gonna receive the worst of the worst, as we understand. But goes on to say. 
which also, as a matter of fact, they actually uh, served us as well during the thousand years when Jake was ruling Europe, man. You know, so the next thousand years, they're going to do the same thing over and over again. So one answer is, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. But the point was the top where said by thy source by thy source that thou live. So that's the blessing of Esau ate him. Yeah, Jake went up partake in holy you know, basically rifles, man. Alright, nah, nah, nah. Although yeah, 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 Jake out there that, that that are some good marksmen. You know, Lord never had it to where you put the spirit on you to actually be a, a good executioner, man. Alright, e Esau's a top notch when when it comes to guns. That's his blessing. He got these clowns out here trying to hold a a, a, a you know a stick. To protect themselves Alright Well when the scriptures clearly stay uh, The scriptures clearly stay In the book of Jeremiah And, and, and various And varying others Goes into how the Lord has made us A, a, a strong tower Which I'm going to get that On the book of Jeremiah I am a strong tower Bear with me Akim Book of Salakia the book of Jeremiah, the second chapter. Verse. It's like, I believe it was the first chapter. Yeah, it comes verse 18. And it reads. It's like, verse 17. Thou therefore, and the Lord is speaking to Jeremiah, but also you can apply it to us. All right. The ones out here that, you know, uh, that had this, that the Lord put a spirit on us to teach. Thou therefore girl up thy loins. And because teaching is, is, is a masculine job, man. It, require, it requires higher masculinity and bravery to actually come up to the highways and edges and actually prophesy against, you know, the, the, the wicked of our people, the rest of the heathen, and ultimately America as a whole, man. All right, you know, it, it takes guts to actually come out here, man. So the Lord by Hashem will show the spirit on that to actually come out in the highways and edges and prophesy. Thou therefore girl up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defensed city, and an iron pillar, and brazen walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the prince thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. All right, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. But these guys are carnal. All right, they, they, they don't rely on the Lord. You know, they, they don't rely on the Spirit. They, they want to they deliver themselves by way of guns. Which, pursuant to them, I'm going to get another piece in the book of Psalms, the, 30, the 33rd chapter. So this is the book of Psalms, the 33rd chapter, verse 17, and it reads, And horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. You know, but you can also apply it to the gun. All right, a gun is basically a vain thing for safety. All right, neither shall it deliver, you know, any by its great strength. All right, because knowing the science behind the, behind the, 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 the gun, all right, you know, it's not going to deliver you. All right, it's not going to deliver you. So going on, when I got the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, you know, basically um, condemning these, these these clowns, all right? Because knowing that, you could actually see the scriptures even say that you shall know you shall know um, them by the works, all right? You shall know the Lord is chosen, but you got them clowns out there holding guns, and or, or, whereas you see the true men of the Lord, I right, wish you understand the Lord is dealing with GMS, which I'm not a part of, all right? But and those like-minded brothers as well, but you see them, they're, they're actually out there in the houses and they just in the spirit. All right, without weapons, man. All right, now, now, of course, the others have said that if it comes to a certain point to have to lay hands on one another, you know, we're fighting, but we're not gonna freaking be cowardly and use guns. The hell, but this is the book of Matthew, the seventh chapter, and verse 15. But we're a false prophets, all right, with them clowns, you know, Sikari, but we're a false sick Ari, you know, as he, if I'm not mistaken, it was the other Malcolm that put it that way, you know, sick Ari, because you guys are sick. You guys are sick in the head, man. You know, Jake need a mercy kill, because, you know, they just launched with madness, and that's part of the curses as well. But going on, it says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. You shall know them by their fruits, all right? Do men gather grapes with thorns or figs with thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. All right, and those clowns are evil trees, man. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, hewn down and cast into the fire. Hey, so you guys got that judgment coming, man. All right, and, and the point was verse 16. It says, you shall know them by their fruits. All right, so that way you can distinguish a true man of the Lord from a clown like, like Sikari, Sik man, holding guns in M16. You guys, you guys like the Black Panthers, man. 
exactly like the Black Panthers, carnal as fuck, man. And Lauren dealing with that, you know, and and that's why that's why you know we we we, we continue to, to to um urge the Lord, you know, praying the Lord to deliver us, man. All right, we need the kingdom badly. All right, you know, this wickedness has to go. But I'm gonna get out the book of First Corinthians, the first chapter, verse four. And because what happens is that when the heathen, all right, or these tutors without the truth, people just in general, when they see any camp, or right, like ICPK, all right, uh, IYC, um, Sukari, they auto, you know, basically uh, GMS or like minor brothers, they automatically uh, see any Hebrews like in general as, as, as one. All right, you know, to them we're all we're all, we're all the same. You know, all camps in general are portrayed as a saint to the heathen, man. And to the tutors that have, that, have, that, that don't have this truth. All right, so, so what happens is that, that, that do report us as a militia, as a whole. And, and the thing is, you know, you look in the Southern Poverty Law, and the thing is, we're already labeled as general hate, all right? So it goes to the point where, they, where, where, where when they actually accumulate all, all these types of, you know, things that happened throughout, the, throughout this course within all these camps that they're going to start labeling extremists like true extremism and they're going to start you know persecuting us man which, which is prophecy is going to happen but you know it, it's a bad example to the people man or right, what, what these kind of doing is a bad example you know relying on Esau's blessing you know the, the, these people are wicked as hell man all right and it's not only in the silent poverty law website but you also you look at these in like in general, you look at these federal federal documents, and they they already condemn us. All right, now now you just basically give them more, giving them more information, more 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 more, more proof. So lucky for my story, but giving them more proof that 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 you know Hebrew Israelites are, are so called dangerous, man. When here it is, all we're supposed to do is just teach. All right, curse this place. Out, that's it. You guys got you got you got them guys out there holding guns, man. So it's the book of First Corinthians, the first chapter, verse four, and it reads, "I think my power." Always on your behalf for the grace of Yahweh, which is given you by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That in everything you are enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge. But these guys they don't have the knowledge, man. Alright, these guys don't have the knowledge at all. Or you know they're rel relying on carnality. These, these guys are ultimately through, man. Or they got the spirit on them. Is a testimony, even as a testimony the anointed was anointed Yahweh Shai was confirmed in you. So that ye come behind and no gift waiting for the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. But you know, basically, they they are behind in gifts, man. Sp these spiritual gifts. I wish I also confirm you unto the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And that's going to the Akim, right? Actually, you know, doing the will of the Lord. All right, you know, in all truth and sincerity. You know, not in the carnal carnal mindset like these clowns. These, you know, those those those, those guys are basically uh, they 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 have, you know, basically they, you, you can put the blame on them, man. All right. Well, I mean, whereas the elect are actually blameless, which that word blameless, you know, basically means innocent or wrongdoing. But I just want to bring that point out. Lastly, I'm gonna end up in the book of Second Ezra, sixteen, seven, verse seventeen, three, where it reads, "Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the, as a gold in the fire." All right. You could already distinguish through the spirit that those guys aren't the men of the Lord. Right, but you, the chosen, when the stand, the Lord's dealing with GMS first and foremost, and the like-minded brothers, so like about, you know, behind them. I right, wish lower with those men, but I just want to bring that, bring those scriptures out, you know, bring that point out. With that being said, this video was edifying. You know, Lord, we continue, Lord, we will continue to push. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. By Hashem Yehoshai, by Hashem Rachakudash. Talking about the Salaki, the bonus be unto the apostles and elders at Green Moonstone. All right, I want to give all praise. Slaki, I want to give um, much peace and blessings be unto the hopeful who like the Slaki, much peace and blessing, peace and blessings be unto the hopeful who like the pushing out this word of thought, truth, and sincerity. All right, and to all y'all, give me a You know.